Vulval eczema. Etiology. Eczematous and lichenified diseases, as classified by ISSVD, includes atopic, the allergic type often seen in people who also have hay fever or asthma, allergic contact due to skin contact to a substance to which the individual is sensitive, and irritant contact due to skin contact with irritating chemicals, powders, and cleaning agents, and etc. Clinical features, symptoms, vulval itch and soreness, signs, erythema, lichenification and excoriation, and fissuring, complications, secondary infection, diagnosis, clinical presentation, and general examination of the skin to look for other signs of dermatitis, management, further investigation, patch testing, standard battery and medicaments, biopsy, only if atypical features or failure to respond to treatment, treatment, recommended regimens, avoidance of precipitating factor, use of emollient soap substitute, aqueous cream should not be applied as a moisturizer due to the risk of irritant effects, hydromol can be a suitable alternative. Topical corticosteroid. The choice of preparation will depend on severity. 1% hydrocortisone ointment in milder cases or betamethasone valerate 0.025% or clobetasol propionate 0.05% for limited periods if severe or lichenified. A combined preparation containing antifungal or antibiotic may be required if secondary infection suspected. Apply once daily. Follow-up. As clinically required, long-term follow-up and psychological support may be needed. Lichen simplex. Underlying dermatosis. For example, atopic dermatitis, allergic contact dermatitis, superficial fungal, tinea and candidiasis infections. Systemic conditions causing pruritus, for example, renal failure, obstructive biliary disease, primary biliary cirrhosis, and primary sclerosing cholangitis. Hodgkin's lymphoma, hyper or hypothyroidism, and polycythemia rubra vera. Environmental factors, such as heat, sweat, rubbing of clothing, and other irritants such as harsh skincare products, psychiatric disorders, anxiety, depression, obsessive-compulsive disorder, and dissociative experiences are often associated with the condition. Emotional tensions in predisposed people, for example, those with an underlying predisposition for atopic dermatitis, asthma, and allergic rhinitis can induce itch and thus begin the chronic itch scratch cycle. Clinical features, symptoms, vulval itch and soreness, signs, lichenification, for example, decant, slightly scaly, pale or earthly colored skin with accentuated markings may be more marked on the side opposite the dominant hand. Erosions and fissuring, excoriations as a result of scratching may be seen, and the pubic hair is often lost in the area of scratching. Complications, secondary infection. Diagnosis, clinical presentation. Psoriasis of the vulva is usually less itchy, and lesions are bright red, often grazed and well demarcated, and frequently involves a natal cleft. History including mental state examination were indicated. General examination of the skin to look for other signs of psoriasis or lichen simplex elsewhere. Management. Further investigation. Screening for infection, for example, Staphylococcus aureus and Candida albicans. 
dermatological referral for consideration of patch testing, standard battery and medicaments, ferritin, and biopsy. Treatment. Recommended regimens. Avoidance of precipitating factor. Use of emollient soap. Some people may have a reaction to aqueous cream when it is used as an emollient. For this reason, it is recommended only as a soap substitute and not an emollient. Topical corticosteroid. Potent topical steroids are required when treating lichenified areas such as bethamethasone or clobetasol for limited periods. A combined preparation containing antifungal or antibiotic may be required if secondary infection is suspected. Apply once or twice daily. A mildly antiolytic antihistamine such as hydroxyzine or doxepine at night is helpful. The symptoms of pruritus often respond fairly quickly to a topical steroid, but unless the lichenification resolves, the each scratch cycle will remain and the symptoms will recur. A graduated reduction in the frequency of application of the topical steroid is helpful over about 3 to 4 months. Cognitive behavioral therapy may be helpful if there are coexisting mental health issues. Follow up. Mild disease as clinically required. Severe disease, for example, when using potent topical steroids, one month then as required. Fulval psoriasis. Etiology. Psoriasis is a chronic inflammatory epidermal skin disease affecting approximately 2% of the general population. Genital psoriasis may present as part of plague or flexural psoriasis or rarely as the only area affected. Clinical features. Symptoms. Vulval itch, soreness, and burning sensation. Signs, well-demarcated, brightly erythematous plaques, often symmetrical, frequently affects natal cleft, usually lacks scaling due to maceration, and fissuring. Complications may be worsened due to Kobner effect by irritation from urine, tight-fitting clothes, or sexual intercourse. Diagnosis, clinical presentation, general examination of the skin and nails to look for other signs of psoriasis, management, further investigation, skin punch biopsy if the diagnosis is in doubt, treatment, recommended regimens, avoidance of irritating factors, use of emollient soap substitute, topical corticosteroid, Weak to moderate steroids are preferred, but if insufficient to induce a response, then intensive short-term potent steroids such as clobetasol propionate 0.05% may be used. A combined preparation containing antifungal and or antibiotic may be required if secondary infection suspected such as trimovate. Coal tar preparations may be used alone or combined or alternated with topical steroids. However, these preparations can cause irritations and folliculitis. Vitamin D analogs such as talcalcitol alone or in combination with corticosteroid, however, their usefulness may be limited by causing irritation. Onward referral Referral to a multidisciplinary vulval clinic is recommended for unresponsive or recalcitrant cases or those in whom systemic therapy is considered. Systemic treatments, if required for severe and extensive psoriasis, may help genital lesions but not recommended for isolated genital psoriasis. Follow-up. Mild disease as clinically required. Severe disease, for example, when using potent topical steroids, one month then as required.